Look at your toy. Look at you. Aren't they the cutest puppies ever? Yes, those are my grandpuppies. This one's Quentin. And that one is Sully. And he really loves his toy. Usually, you hear Frugal Living channels talking about how frugal they are or things we can do to be more frugal, which I do talk about things we can do to be more frugal quite often. But today is not that day. Today, I'm telling you all the ways that I'm not frugal. Okay? So if you're here for it, give this video a thumbs up. And let me know down in the comments if you have any guesses before we get into this list. Okay. So the first one is, I do not save my plastic bags. Or, you know, wash them out, rinse them, reuse them, or whatever. However, if I have, you know, a piece of bread in there or something like that, I obviously I will, you know, um, reuse it. However, I am not going to turn them inside out, wash them and all that. I have done that before um, at the behest of my stepdad. But I, as since being an adult, mm -mm, I'm not doing that. I just, they're pretty cheap, you know, as far as... I mean, you can get a hundred in a box. So if I happen to throw one out, I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. I know that might be absolutely crazy to some people, but it's just, if it's dirty, I'm tossing it out. I'm not washing it. However, like I said, if it just has a little bit of something in it, I will reuse it. Okay. Next one is I don't mend my clothes, mainly because I don't know how to sew. <laughs> it kind of, it has an issue, you know, if you don't know how to sew, but I do not know how to do any of those things, and I honestly don't have the desire to. Usually when I have a item of clothing, I will have it for years. Some of the things that I have, I've had for 15 years. Now, if it gets a rip in it, or the seam come, you know, starts coming undone or whatever, I figure I have gotten a lot of use out of it. However, um, if I have just purchased something that that happens to, that bothers me. But it very seldom ever happens. For one, I don't buy new clothes very often. Um, but for two, uh, I just, I look everything over pretty well before I purchase it, so I don't really have that issue. My husband, on the other hand, is a different story. He actually sews the little holes in his socks. He does that. So, I don't, for one, because I don't know how to sew, but for two, uh, having the whole, you know, because they're always on the bottom of your feet. I could not handle the feeling of that, for one thing. Uh, yeah, I could not. I could not. So, next one is buying everything used. I do not do that. Um, I do, I will buy, say, pants, kitchenware, jackets. I'll, I'll buy those kinds of things used, but I'm not going to buy any kind of underwear, undergarment at all used, or shoes, sheets, a bed, I don't know. There's many things that I would not buy used. For one thing, because it grosses me out. For two, um, I, I just want to know that I was the first one to use it and that it doesn't have anybody else's schmutz all over it. Okay, next thing that I don't do that most frugal, frugal, frugal people do is I don't buy cheap toilet paper. I know that might sound weird. I mean, I'm not saying I spend a million dollars on toilet paper, but I buy my, my toilet paper from Costco. Um, and I have bought, uh, I think, what is it, Cottonelle? The Charmin, there we go. I have bought Charmin before. But as a general rule, I buy it at Costco. Uh, I'm not buying the one-ply stuff. I'm just not doing it. If I had to, clearly, I would do that. But I don't have to at this point, so thank God for that. Okay, next one is buying everything generic. I also don't do that. I know a lot of frugal people that do. I, I don't know. I might be kind of a snob when it comes to brands. No, I mean, I have quite a bit of store brands in my pantry and stuff, but as far as, oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, as far as crackers go, I love Ritz crackers, and I love saltine crackers. So, 
I'm not going to buy, I have purchased them before, but as general, I do not. I have a thing with Ritz crackers and saltines. I'm not going to intentionally buy the generic. I'm just not doing it. Um, there's a lot of things like that, that the texture is different. The taste is different. If you're using it to cook in something, you know, that's okay for a lot of like pantry cooking items. But some things, I am just not going to buy generic. All right. Next thing that frugal people do that I do not is stay at cheap hotels. So what I mean by that is I don't mean I'm staying at the Hilton, right? That's not what I mean. But I am not going to intentionally stay at the cheapest place I can find. Because if I'm going somewhere, I want to enjoy my stay. I want to have a clean room. I want, you know, that's more important to me. And the condition of the room, the bed, all of that kind of stuff, that's more important to me than saving $30 on a room. I'm just, yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of sounding like a snob, I think. I'm really not. I swear, I'm not. Okay, let's move on. Let's keep on going. Let's go. Okay, spending hours trying to find the best price on something. Okay. I will shop around for a good price for things, but I'm not going to lose sleep over it if I can get it today for $4 more than Amazon. You know, if I need something, I'm just going to go get it for the, for the most part. Most of the time, I don't need anything. So if I'm ordering something on Amazon, I can wait for it. It's no big deal. But if I need it, I'm not going to go to three different stores. I'm not going to spend an hour on my phone trying to find the cheapest, you know, possible price. Now, obviously that's different for big items like appliances or whatever. But if I'm looking for an electric skill, let's say, mine burnt out, I need it because we're, I'm going to be using it tomorrow or whatever. I'm not going to wait for Amazon. I might be able to find it for five, six, seven dollars cheaper, whatever. I'm just going to go down to Buy Mart and buy it. Buy Mart, by the way, is here here in Oregon we have Bymart and it's like a variety store it has all kinds of everything they have food not full-on groceries but they have like pantry staple kind of food um, you know vacuum cleaners it's, it's all kinds of all kinds of stuff like that so I'm just gonna run down there and grab it that's all I'm not going to you know lose sleep over that I'm just I'm not gonna do that to me that's stressful and I, it's not worth it to me. No. Okay. The next one is frugal people do not eat out at restaurants. We do. We eat out twice a month. We used to eat out a lot more than that. Uh, but we don't anymore because for, you know, obvious reasons and, you know, the world being on fire and all that, we don't do that anymore. So now we eat out twice a month and we're very strategic about it. We, we try to be very deliberate about when we go out. So... That's something that we do that a lot of frugal, frugal people don't. We actually put this money in our budget, so. Okay, and I know a lot of frugal people don't. They just decide they're not going out at all and that's not realistic for us because we actually like the experience of going to a restaurant. We like the food, we like all that stuff. We are restaurant people, so we put it in our budget, so that's what we do. All right, next one is not paying for a service because it costs more than, you know, it costs money. So we have a bug service um, that comes out once a month and they deal with, you know, ants, spiders. In the summer, they deal with mosquitoes. They do all of that kind of stuff. And it is 50 or $42 a month. And I say it's well worth it. I love the fact that I don't have to deal with all of that stuff. And yes, we could do um, our own, like, buy home defense or whatever it is and spray it around the outside of the house. But it's not just on the outside of the house. And the stuff that they use, you know, is safe. It's, it's like, eco-friendly. It's, it's just, it's a good deal for $42 a month. And then you can tell them, well, we've, you know, noticed a bunch of spiders. We noticed ants. That's what happened this, this winter is we told them, oh, we've got some ants. So... They took care of it. No big deal. And it's just one less thing.
for us to worry about and I love that fact. Okay, and then the other thing is, is buying just enough food for the week. I know that's on a lot of, um, like when you watch, you know, how to save money on groceries and that kind of stuff. They, that's on a lot of those grocery videos. And it's just something I don't agree with. Um, only be, I mean, because you, in my mind, that goes the opposite of the way I grocery shop. And I do pretty well, I think. Um, <clears throat> so, it's just, I think you should buy it. A little bit more than you need so that you don't need those items when they're not on sale so you buy the things when they're on sale so if you have a hundred dollar budget um, you know and you only spent say 75 on your regular groceries um, then you would have 25 left to spend on some stock up items maybe some some meat that's on sale all that kind of stuff all right next is keeping my heater or my air conditioner way down uh my husband and i we're not going to do that we would do it if we had to like and i have done this before i have done all of these things before to be fair <laughs> i have i have done all of these things before um right now we don't have to and i would rather save in other areas so that i don't have to freeze to death in my own house I don't want to do that and I don't want to be roasting in my own house either so I'm not saying in the winter time that we keep it at 75 no we have a wood stove anyway so that's not I mean it's generally about 70 degrees in my house um, in the winter time and in the summer we put it up to 75 78 and so you know it's not super it really depends on your on you know the way you think about it but for us that just works it keeps our power bills pretty even and we're on equal pay anyway so we pay the same amount um, every month you know pretty much regardless of what we use and so that helps out that uh, but I don't want to freeze to death in my house and I don't want to be sweating to death in my own house I'm just not gonna do that um, I would like I said I would if I had to and I've done it before but I don't want to right now <laughs> and so I'm not doing that and then the next thing, and maybe one of the big ones is, I've heard a lot of frugal people on different channels and stuff talk about um, not having insurance on their vehicles or not having insurance on their home or whatever. I do not skimp on insurance. 100% I am not going to have just liability on my vehicles. Not going to happen. So... We have full coverage in all three of our vehicles. They are older, but the reason we have that is because it covers glass, collision, it has all of that. And it's actually fairly reasonable because our cars are older and so it does matter. Um, you know, it's fairly inexpensive. Um, I don't, we have a lot of bug trucks. We have drunk drivers. We have people with no insurance. We have all of those things out where I live. I live kind of out in the boondocks. So we are not the people who are gonna have no insurance. Because chances are, somebody hits us, they probably don't have insurance. So that's something I'm not going to do and I'm just not gonna take the chance of that. And so I would rather pay maybe $20 extra every month for that peace of mind knowing that my car will be replaced and all of my you know, medical bills and all of that stuff will be taken care of. So, so let me know down in the comments. Did you think those dogs were adorable? Of course they are. Oh, they're so cute. My son and my daughter-in-law got them both um, from a shelter. They both have the sweetest dispositions. Oh, we love them. They're our grandbabies right now. So, anyway, give me a thumbs up, if nothing else, for the dogs, right? And if this was interesting, give it a thumbs up. And I will talk to you in the next one. All right, bye.